I got a bit of a late start again today. I got the video up and I've been spending most of the morning cleaning the house. Nicole is coming home today and I know that I really appreciate coming home to a clean house. So I'm trying to do the same for her, but it ate up most of the day. Um, I got a couple errands to run, some things to get done, and it should be fun. Taking the BMW today. Came to visit the chickens. I grabbed some eye bolts to finish the tie downs on the ramp. Some Velcro for an idea I came up with. I'm at the warehouse so I can unload all this crap for my car. You guys might have remembered that a while ago we had some issues with the windbreakers, but it turned out to not really be that big of a deal. You just had to wash them on the delicate cycle because we didn't want to have any issues with the print coming up. Uh, but anyway, we just got another batch in. The first one sold out really fast. And the new batch that we have, you can wash them any way whatsoever. We changed the printing process, so they should be a little bit more durable. But in case you missed the video talking about the other ones, you can wash them just to play it safe, wash them by themselves and on the delicate cycle and just hang dry. Uh, we've only had one incident where the print got messed up but we don't want to obviously have that happen to more people we've got them in black and red and I guess you could call them more of a coach jacket since they have like a zipper and a mesh inside and everything but they're really nice now I'm headed home and I got to knock out a couple things before Nicole's plane arrives when I was driving Nicole's car around I noticed a little bit of a weird kind of like clunky noise coming around the transmission area uh, maybe not clunking maybe more of a rattle so I'm gonna throw the car on the lift before she gets home to take a look at it but I have a feeling it might just be a heat shield from when I put the downpipe in I think once you get used to putting certain cars on the lift, it becomes easier. It's just figuring out the right way to put each car on the lift. It's kind of tough lining it up and everything. I can obviously put the car higher, but until we add the reinforcement plates, which I forgot, I haven't showed you guys yet. They're under this pile of junk, but they're basically just big metal plates that are gonna give it more contact points to give it more stability. I just feel safer working under the car if it's not at the top peak, because that puts more stress on the lift, which actually isn't very securely secured right now, but it will be soon. It might just be as simple as this exhaust hanger coming in contact with this heat shield, which I can just bend out of the way. Something's been going on with my BMW too. Uh, honestly, don't know what, but uh, basically when I lift the wheel up like this or when I go over bumps, Makes like a weird little clunky noise, so I'm trying to figure that out now. It's always something with these cars, I tell you. Keep your car stuck. I'm just gonna try tightening everything. Having wheel keys are great when you have expensive wheels that you don't want to get stolen. But when you're me and you lose things all the time, they suck because you can never take your wheels off. BMW fix is gonna have to wait till a later date until I can find my wheel key. Ah. But I have a feeling either it's a hub-centric ring being missing, which I don't think is likely, or something going on with a coilover. I just need to look, because I couldn't really see with the wheel on there, and I just want to narrow out what it is, because widening it wouldn't make any sense. Running late to pick up Nicole, of course. I'm always late. Adam, LZ stands for late zebra. In case you didn't know. I got the package in the car. I wasn't even late at all. Perfect timing. <laughs> Am I the package? Yeah. The eagle has landed. I told him I was picking up a crazy package today. <laughs> I'm not crazy. No, I just told him I was getting you. Nicole's back now, which is really great. Um, I'm almost kind of glad though that she wasn't here over the time that we were building the SR because I spent so much time at the shop that I would have felt really guilty if she was home and I couldn't spend time with her. From staying so late at the shop, I'm still on a really terrible schedule, so that's why I wasn't able to really do that much today. But I'm gonna have to have a lamer video like today in order to reset the clock and then have more time tomorrow and get on a better schedule. A couple more common questions. Um, everyone wants to know what's going on with the 2JZ. Why did I rebuild the SR instead of putting the 2J in. I feel like I've addressed this a million times, but the whole thing is the 2J has a lot of custom parts. It's a much more precise engine. It's at the machine shop, and the parts that were coming in weren't gonna come in for like another month or two. So I wanted to rebuild the SR now so I could keep drifting, keep enjoying it, and then I'm not in as much of a rush for the 2J so we can really take our time with it because I have like a solid running engine now that, that's gonna be sick. I'm really excited for it. I just need to get Martin to tune it and it should be set. But anyway, I planned on rebuilding SR at some point in time because I want to get another shell to put the SR in. So like rebuilding it now versus in the future doesn't really make that big of a difference. Plus it was fun content in the meantime while we're waiting on the 2J and I know you guys really enjoyed the videos. I enjoyed making them. One other common question that I've seen popping up a lot is do I pay Alberto? And the answer is yes, I pay Alberto. Uh, with the amount of work that he does on my car and the amount of time that he spends on it, 
there's no way he could do it for free and still make a living. I mean, he has bills to pay and that is his job. I would never expect for something like that to be free, but Alberto does give me like an amazingly good price for everything. And you guys can see he goes above and beyond, which is what's most important to me. He makes my car priority. He makes sure that my car can be running so I can go to drift events, have fun and make videos with you guys. And he's a great guy. So. I love supporting Alberto, he's so awesome, and I'm really excited that he's gonna be trying to do his own YouTube channel too. I'll put a link in the description, but he really hasn't done anything with videos yet. All this car stuff has been really fun, and I know a lot of you guys are into it, but then some of you, my BMX fan base, isn't that into it. Well, the good thing is, I'm kind of sick of it. I like am the type of person that can't do too much of one thing, and when I just do too much car stuff, it just doesn't become fun for me anymore. Like, I'm not looking forward to going out and working on cars. I'm like, I just wanna do anything other than work on cars right now. That's what's cool about having multiple hobbies. So now I can spend more time riding, and then when I start to get sick of riding and my body's broken, then I can get excited to work on cars again. So uh, my life is just kind of, it goes in phases, and you guys will see that with videos. If you've been here for a long time, you already know that. But I think that's what makes me me, and what makes my channel different from a lot of other people that just cover one topic. It may help me, it may hurt me, who knows, but it's a lot of fun, and I hope you guys like it. Let me know if there's any other common questions you guys have. Uh, scroll through the comments and see if there's a common question that someone else posted that you can just like because it makes it easier for me to find it and then bring it up in a future video if you guys all have a similar question and it's easier to identify for me. Hey Nicole, can you come close this video out for me? Okay. I feel like you kind of secured the spot as the person that's supposed to close out the video and you've been gone for a while, so like people have been like, where's Nicole closing out the video? It's not the same. Like the video if you like unsalted almonds better and comment if you like salted almonds better. You can do better than that. I like that one. I want to know. It's a serious thing. You can just like close the video up by saying bye. You don't need to persuade them to like the video. I've just been trying to make better content so then they're incentivized to like the video that way. Read good books. Love you. Bye. When you say